Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. This is pretty interesting because this is the cautionary tale that Robert Meyer Burnett always preaches. Smart man. And he's right. He's right. And the thing that he preaches about is you're only worth what you negotiate. And this is a cautionary tale that covers that point very well. And the article reads, David Ayer responds to James Gunn revealing Warner Brothers agreed to the Suicide Squad R rating with no hesitation. And that's, uh, that's a big thing going on right now for the simple fact that a few years ago, Warner Brothers told him to dial it down and made a bunch of changes, which actually turned the movie into something, I guess, more different than what he had planned. And I heard there's an air cut of the original Suicide Squad out there, but Warner Brothers is refusing to release it. So let's see what's going on here though. Let's see what's going on here. It's well documented that David Ayer was told to tone down his vision for Suicide Squad and the director has now responded to James Gunn tweeting that he was given the okay for his R-rated sequel which is pretty fucked David Ayer has always maintained that his original take on Suicide Squad was very different to the movie that Warner Brothers would ultimately release and recently stated that he made an amazing movie that just scared the shit out of the executives the director never really elaborated on what exactly made them so nervous, but the studio was clearly more open to the prospect of an R-rated Suicide Squad movie by the time James Gunn pitched his idea for the sequel reboot. Hmm. James Gunn sent out a tweet when Collider shared the details of their 2019 set visit and Ayer had a very brief but telling response of his own. So this is James Gunn tweeting. When I first met with WB Pictures and DC Comics about the hashtag Suicide Squad, I said it would need to be an R-rated war film with no holds barred. I'm always upfront with partners about what I want to do. They agreed. Once the rules were set, we were off and running. I love this movie. Hmm. Wow. David Ayer's response? Dang. <laughs> Ayer is clearly a little disappointed that it took WB so long to embrace a more adult oriented take on Task Force X. But as Gunn pointed out in his follow up tweet, some of the key people making those decisions are different now. Although a lot of the major players at Warner Brothers were different people, there was no doubt that troubles with you helped to pave an easier path for me, David. So I'm grateful for that and for everything else you did to help this movie along its path. Oh, that's some real shit that uh that James Gunn said. He's actually giving props to David Ayer. Warner Brothers boss and Sarnoff hasn't swayed by the hashtag release the Ayer cut campaign and recently made it clear that she has no intentions of allowing Ayer to revisit Suicide Squad. There's always a chance this exchange could renew interest, but we won't be holding our breath. Yep. Yep, yep. And there you have it. So, like I said, it's one of those things that, you know, if you're up front and let people know what your intentions are and what's really going on in the business sense of allowing you to be the creative that you need to be. You need to be up front with folks, put it all out there on the table and then see what happens. And uh, it looks like David Ayer didn't negotiate having free range of, to do what he needed to do in order to have the movie that he wanted. And again, shout out and props goes to Robert Meyer Burnett for always bringing up the point of you're only worth what you negotiate. And again, put it out there on the table, what it is you want and what it is you need and negotiate what you're worth. So, there you have it. 
let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.